Hello, what's going on, beautiful people? I am back with Puzzles and Preach Part 4. I don't know how many parts this is going to be. We're going to just wait on the Lord. But I'm back on the puzzle map. Back to the puzzle mat. Because I'm home. I'm back, okay? And I got some special guests here at my house. As I saw, not saw, as I told y'all earlier in my stories, if you didn't see it, I have Bible study every third Monday of the month. Next month will make five years, people. Five years that I started this Bible study, the Sequoia Sisters. So that's why I'm coming on Puzzles and Preach a little late. Because I was fellowshipping with my sisters. And two of my sisters are here. Whether or not they're going to make a special appearance at the puzzle mat, I don't know. We shall see. But uh, anyway, today we're talking about the Lord's strategy. And the reason why we're talking about the Lord's strategy is because... Like I said, I'm back here. So to prep, I knew I would be speaking to y'all today, but I knew I had Bible study. I was like, let me prep the mat, have the puzzle ready. So when I leave Bible study, I could just come up here, do my puzzle and talk to y'all. But I want to also show y'all that um, I've progressed in the puzzle just a little bit. Let me show y'all my puzzle because y'all be thinking I'm not actually doing anything, but I'm doing stuff. Here is the boat. <laughs> and the things that are coming together because I'm doing Princess and the Frog. Okay, so besides the preaching a puzzle is actually getting made up in here okay so here goes it when i rolled out the mat my friend who's here was like wow i didn't know people do this like have this whole setup she's like if it were me and i was doing a puzzle i would just like see what i think goes together and just throw it around and just see where it goes i said yeah that's how most people start puzzles and I started thinking about that's kind of how we kind of come into life. We just kind of get thrown out here, right? We just show up, right? And get thrown into life. That's how I felt when I graduated college. I felt like I just got spit into adulthood and I didn't know what I was doing. Yes, and as you mature and grow, God gives you strategy. The same way I learned to strategize how to do a puzzle. I'm not just going to pick a random little pieces and try to figure out where it goes i'm gonna be here forever so i strategize i work my from out to in i do the corners first all the corner pieces she's like how you know it's a corner i said because these aren't corner pieces corner pieces got the flat edges at the end i know those go around so as you start going through life once you say yes to God and you come into agreement with the Lord, God's going to start giving you some intention and some strategy. When you're doing life without intention, without strategy, you just got puzzle pieces everywhere all scattered. Your brain is scattered. It's going to be hard to kind of put the pieces together where you got to go. But when you have some structure, some order, like I do, I got these color coded, separated, then it's going to make it a little easier to put the things together. So the Lord's strategy is always better than our own because I couldn't have thought about it this way. And that's how I think about life. Like when I first started doing puzzles, I would have never thought that this would be better or easier. And there are things that God has given me that have always been better and easier. Man, was life really hard? Was I really learning the hard way? I was so stubborn. I was so stubborn. Oh my God, I was insistent in my own way. I wanted to do things my way and my way was the hard way. And God's way is so much easier because oh, his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts, right? Anyway, my friend is here and she keeps burning the side of my, my face. So I'm just going to show her show her to y'all. Hi, gang. <laughs> this is Essence Atkins, for those who don't know. <laughs> and she's at the puzzle mat. I am at the puzzle mat, but I haven't participated today. But she usually participates with me. She helped me do the Lion King. I do. I'm a little tired. Um, I did help her do the Lion King, um, but I, I do enjoy doing puzzles um there's something really stress stress freeing about it like decompressing about yes. it you know trying to like survey what's around you and make some sense of it yes. um yeah and i i do see the value in having the tools that she has they feel a little superfluous but it does <laughs> it does make things easier when you have the mat and the the little containers the um, compartments the compartments see i don't even know all the terminology i'm just here but you know what we do i see with my glasses these are readers by the way i can see you guys i just want to be able to read the comments um 
our pastor's on. Hi, Pastor Nick. Um, <laughs> why are you awake? Uh, he, he don't sleep. I'm like, you should be praying for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, we have another friend over oh, here. No. Our other friend is here. No, I'm not here. So, like, why you got shades? Why do you have shades inside? Shades inside the house. For the Lord. In <laughs> That's that's another thing I told her earlier. I said, God is the ultimate secret agent. The Holy Spirit (laughs) is like an operative. The Holy Spirit just be like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, working it out behind the (laughs) scenes. Working it out behind the scenes. And when God sends you on a mission, there's a mission within the mission. Yeah. Like, you think you know the strategy, (laughs) and then you get in there, Mm -hmm. and then the Holy Spirit, the secret operative, repeat, like, shows, reveals that other layer. It's, It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so any gems or jewels that you felt you picked up tonight? Oh, there were so many. I, what, one of the things that I loved about Bible study tonight, uh, we were talking about, we all had to consider, pray about what we'd been avoiding. What were we doing or not doing that the Holy Spirit or we were being prompted right convicted by to either pick up or put down and then we had to bring a scripture to back up the instruction or the message of heeding right what we were what we were supposed to reject or what we were supposed to pursue we had to find a scripture to support what we were struggling with or what we were hearing gnawing at us to actually pick up our mantle and pursue so it pick was, up your mat and walk yeah so it was really it was really really good um oh somebody said oh here comes conviction <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean that that, that will that will happen um but yeah it was it was really beautiful i, I think what i am most encouraged by it, as we are in year five of what's happening in the Bible study is that people are beginning to become more confident in their ability to uh, find wisdom in the word on their own. That's mm-hmm. the beautiful thing about what's happening is that people are finding confidence and gaining strength in their ability to interpret the word for themselves you know which is what we're meant to we're meant to have our own individual relationship with god Mm -hmm. and be able to hear the voice of god for ourselves Mm -hmm. so that's what i'm really encouraged by is that the women in the bible study are really growing in this area so it's not just about oh we hear a sermon and we co-opt what the interpretation or what the teaching was but it's really about being able to go into the word for yourself and find the conviction find the wisdom find the correction for yourself which is awesome and that's the that that was the lord's strategy okay because (laughs) i was watching a leadership video and i sent it to all my leaders essence is one of the leaders of the bible study and one of the things that the leader shared was like what makes good leadership is that you talk less and the pa- the lead pastor who was teaching this leadership was saying how hard that is for him because what we do for a living is speaking, right? God gives us words to say and we want to say all of them. And the challenge as a leader is to speak less and to give people the tools, right, to fish. Not just give them the fish, but teach them how to fish. And that is like challenging and all exciting at the same time of this new shift in the bible study of like what it means that that's really the lord's strategy the lord's strategy is to make us fishermen of men right to catch people make disciples disciples, but really it isn't to co-op our own interpretation or our own relationship with god and then now regurgitate it and that's the kind of relationship with god you're supposed to have the lord's strategy is to get you to have your own personal private and intimate relationship with him we're just the vessels to help god our job is to help guide and nurture that process but we're not meant to as you said co-opt that and i think that's really beautiful because it wasn't my strategy to co-op but i did I was following a strategy of what I know, right? Like, God told me to start a Bible study. So I said, okay. I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know what I was doing. I did not grow up in the church. This, I don't have any pastors in my family. So, okay, what's, what do people do? People 
read a scripture and then they like teach or preach and so i used the strategy of the idea of what i know i was kind of fumbling trial by fire but as i've been maturing and growing the lord has given me his strategy and also just good leadership is listening to the people around you a lot of the women around me were like hey you know we're starting to feel more comfortable in reading the word for ourselves and we want to chime in too and it became now a, a much more communal thing that we do this together which is really really beautiful so we're not leaning on just one man or one woman's voice and i think that's really important because the scripture does say study to show yourself approved if you're just leaning on the interpretation of your pastor in order to know the scriptures then that is just one perspective it's really really important to get in that word for yourself to discern the holy spirit and the word of god his strategy is for you to unlock the keys for yourself there's a reason why it's written in parables and and i just think that that's so magical right like god is magic in in the sense of like he knows exactly what you need when you need it and how you need it so you and i could be reading the same scripture at the same time and it hit us completely different based on where we are because right. it unlocks a specific thing in us based on what we need because he's everything everywhere all at once <laughs> she over here just snapping because she's she's undercover for the lord <laughs> <laughs> Undercover for the Lord. Um, I'm gonna say good night. She's guys. saying good night because she's tired. But yes, that's that's all we got for tonight. It's not gonna be long because we're tired. We just had two hour Bible study. But yes, the Lord's strategy is better than your own strategy. Lean on His instruction. Let Him order your steps, and then you can put the pieces to your puzzle together much better than doing it on your own. <laughs> <laughs> not the snaps oh my god it was a three hour bible study was it three <laughs> not really that was the afterglow that don't count anyway send your prayer requests dm me share like all the things love y'all see y'all next week bye, bye. bye.